Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disorder and still lacks effective treatment. In this article, we present a quantitative system pharmacology model that describes the accumulation of alpha-synuclein, microglial activation, and neurodegeneration in mouse models of Parkinson's disease. In the described model, neurons produce alpha-synuclein that aggregates intracellularly. These neurons can both secrete and uptake alpha-synuclein aggregates, which further promotes aggregation. Microglia serve as scavengers, clearing aggregates from the interstitial fluid. However, when alpha-synuclein aggregate levels rise, they activate and subsequently induce further aggregation, thus perpetuating the pathology. Passive immunotherapy mechanisms tested include antibodies preventing alpha-synuclein entry into neurons, which alone didn't reduce brain alpha-synuclein levels. Antibodies blocking alpha-synuclein aggregation by targeting C-terminus of alpha-synuclein fibrils, leading to a significant 60% reduction in neuronal aggregates. Antibodies enhancing microglial uptake and clearance of alpha-synuclein, resulting in a complete 100% reduction of aggregated alpha-synuclein levels. Inhibiting inflammation alone can lower pathological alpha-synuclein accumulation by up to 30%. When combined with antibodies that prevent aggregation, there is an additional 10% reduction. However, combining inflammation inhibition with enhanced microglial clearance yields no further effect, as microglial clearance leads to a maximum decrease in pathological synuclein. In summary, this model evaluates the effects of passive immunotherapy, predicts beneficial outcomes of anti-inflammatory treatment, and helps assess how combination therapies currently in development for Parkinson's disease may work together. Learn more on intisbio.com.